Good morning! I've just visited the Kritika Nakshatra temple and this temple, uh, the priest was very uh, sweet, but he, uh, he was much older. And what I enjoyed about this is during his prayers, he, he has a lot of good projection and it felt very powerful. Like there was a lot of that Agni, a lot of that fire moving the prayers forward. Um, one of the things that we noticed uh, on the inside is that they had the Rashis on the roof, but they were not in the correct order. So there was a little bit of a creative license there, but uh, still effective and powerful nonetheless. Um, today also Mars has entered into um, an exaltation in Capricorn. So it's a Tuesday, it's a very much a Mars day. I'm wearing some red here and um, just trying to be in harmony with the energies of the uh, planets. So love this energy, love this temple. It's very beautiful. On the Navagraha, we also had some creative license. I think uh, K2 had the incorrect, if you will, uh, color robes, but either way, it's still this um, honoring the grahas and the planets, and um, I love this. So, Om Namah Shivaya. I'm here at the Barani Nakshatra temple and I uh, just finished the prayer, visited the god and the goddess inside. And what is uh, quite amazing about this temple is the outside complex. Um, they don't have actually a Navagraha um, area, but they do have Shani Dev and uh, Shani is Yama's brother and Yama is the uh, presiding deity for Barani Nakshatra. So uh, sh uh, Shani represents all of the Navagraha here and um, they have a lot of art too. The way that they've decorated this on the outside is quite lovely and there's also this um, huge painting of Shiva on the roof and you can see it um, in between the uh, building structures. The interior is quite spacious and lovely and there are these gold arches around the inner sanctum of the temple. So the gold is quite flashy, it's quite um, an entryway, it's quite a gateway. So they've really made a statement there. I feel the very feminine presence of this uh, temple. It's almost like a warm hug. I love being here. Om Namah Shivaya.
We just finished lunch here in Kumbakonam and we came to the beachfront, which is so lovely. Um, we're here to give some of our malas from the temple and give it back to nature as she has graced us with this beauty. Sending thanks on the Mashivaya. I'm here outside of the Mergeshira Nakshatra temple and this is actually a Durga temple. I've never been to a Durga temple before and I feel so blessed to um, have gone to one in India. Normally when you walk into the temple you see the chariot of the god or goddess and so there's a lion in front uh, looking at Durga. And then inside of the temple, you see above uh, the main deity, you have all of the forms of uh, Durga above. It's just really cool to see all of the artwork inside. And then also um, just the general feeling of this warmth. And it feels so good, I don't wanna leave. Everything is uh, there to invoke the senses of beauty so that you can receive the energy of the goddess. There are these lovely marble floors. And one thing that really made such an impression on me was seeing uh, all of these huge, huge garlands around the deity on the inside. The very long garlands. This is uh, one of them that uh, they were given to us for a prasad and I uh, just definitely feel the mother energy, this um, lunar energy, this, very, this warmth, it almost feels like a warm hug. I love it. I'm so, so grateful to be here. Om Namah Shivaya. So I was just uh, told that this is Vana Durga. Uh, that is the form of the goddess. And you see this lovely sun behind me. Um, this is the energy of today. It just has all of this sattvic energy. The Vana Durga is the Durga form of the forest, which is why it's connected to Murgashira Nakshatra, the deer in the forest. So she's a forest goddess. <laughs> a goddess after my own heart. <laughs>